What's up everyone, Sixpenny here, and today we are checking out a brand new boxing game, Undisputed, that just launched into Steam Early Access. So we're gonna dive into a quick fight today. We're gonna be taking up Muhammad Ali versus Joe Frazier, the epic rivalry. Uh, it's gonna be an awesome match, but to talk about what this game has right now in Early Access, it has quick fights where there's a roster of, I, I believe, 50 boxers. There's prize fights where you have three different fights each day and you can compete for the best score and best ranking on the leaderboard. And then you also have online. Now, what's really cool, online, you actually get ranked. So there's unranked casual quick fights and then there's ranked, you can create a lobby, play with your friends. But they actually have ranked at early access launch. Now, what it does not have yet is a career mode. And this is the mode I'm most looking forward to. I don't play a lot online, but I do love Fight Night, the old Fight Night career modes. Wow, I would love to have another really good career mode. It's been so long since the last career mode in a boxing game. That would have been Fight Night Champion, I believe. Uh, but today, we're gonna dive into Quick Fight. Now, I did the training and I remember some buttons. So I think I've got this. We're gonna, let's be red. But thank you all for stopping by. If you get some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel and subscribe for more. So there's bantam weight, feather weight, light weight, welter weight, middle weight, light heavy, cruiser weight, and then there's heavy weight, of course. And then you have the light weight women's and then welter weight women's. But of course, we are in the heavyweight today, Muhammad Ali versus Joe Frazier. In their career, they had three fights. Muhammad Ali won the series 2-1, I believe. Let's do this, everybody. And arena, let's go into, we're actually, we want the big arena. We want the WBC arena, 100%. We want all the fans to be electric. Okay, so AI difficulty. Let's see what they got here. So there's amateur, intermediate, pro, undisputed. So I guess it'd be easy, medium, hard why not start with hard ai just to see what it's like if we get beat we get beat we're gonna do 12 rounds we're gonna do game type casual simulation i really don't know <laughs> the difference of it saved by the bell no knockdown roll three no and let's do this welcome to the wbc arena they've been talking the talk it's now time to walk the walk i'm todd grisha Alongside me, Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Nice to be here with you. It's time for our tale of the tape. Muhammad Ali, the greatest of all time. He stands six foot three inches tall with a 78 inch reach. And he'll be taking on smoking Joe Frazier. He took part in the greatest boxing trilogy of all time with Muhammad Ali. He defines the words Philly fighter. Nobody knows who's going to win. You can have an argument for the winner on both sides, but this is that fight. We'll be talking about this fight for years to come. Muhammad Ali, the greatest of all time. Watch the footwork, watch the hand speed. No one does it like Ali. Smoking Joe Frazier, his three battles with Muhammad Ali, perhaps the most famous the sport has ever seen. As soon as the ball goes, don't blink. That fight could be over. That said, cannot wait for this one, and here we go. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, here is the Olympic gold medalist and legend of boxing, the only three-time lineal heavyweight champion of the world. He floats like a butterfly and stings like a bee. The one and only, the greatest, Muhammad Ali. Hiding out of the blue corner, the Olympic gold medalist from Beaufort, South Carolina, the Hall of Famer from the golden era of heavyweights, a heavyweight champion of the world, smoking Joe Frazier. All the talking has been done. It's time to start doing the walking. Listen, when you've got two people that want to fight, two right. fighters that really dislike each other, you're going to get more than a fight. 
in what I say you must obey. Good luck. Let's do this. And he misses with that jab. So I'm not going to talk a lot during the fight so you all can hear the full presentation, but I will talk in between rounds. And he just misses with that jab. one of these athletes is going to say I can't take it anymore. And he misses with the left uppercut. Fantastic punch. the way he wanted this fight to start. And they're down, running out of time as the referee continues the count. One, two, three, well, four, a tough start. Five, six, seven, eight. So they'll make it up and this fight continues. going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest for the final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. These two fighters promised us great action. They didn't give it to us in that round. Let's see what's in front of you. Don't pressure them. Okay, so not the greatest first round. Uh, Frazier came out swinging, got us dazed there. But hey, we're still fighting. We're still in this fight. Wow, what a game though. The graphics look beautiful. Presentation, it's it's tough though. I need to start blocking and ex protecting myself. <laughs> Here we go for round two. Missed him with that uppercut. Good one. They call it the glory division. There's nothing quite like a heavyweight fight. It doesn't take much to win it. Couple of big units here, so I'm expecting power. You're gonna have excitement, you're gonna have drum because when these guys slow down, that's when the punches are gonna run. And this with that jam. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Nice exchange here from both men. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that. You've also got to get your shots off. And they forget. You can bang too. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. This one can go either way. Every round is so important. So important. The referee's going to do his fight right. He's going to judge his Okay, so a better second right. round, but look at the damage. We have 79, 83 stamina. We gained four. 
but Joe is 94% damage, 98% stamina. <laughs> He's barely phased, so we're gonna have to step it up. Then one of these athletes is going to be the first to get rocked. Punch. He just misses with that big right hand. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those caught areas over the eyebrow, the cheek hole. You've just got to try and cut them skimming. Go for speed. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Nice punch. You hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. What could they change? They can change their attitude. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. <laughs> Who's winning this fight right now? I have no idea. It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? Okay, I thought that was better, but the AI is insane. Like, 69%. Health to Joe's 90, 94 stamina, 75 sta I I don't know. How are we gonna win this? Seems impossible. Who will be buzzed first? Joe's won 10, 10, 10, 10, 8, 10, 9, 10, 9. What a scoring shot there. I don't understand how to block the body. I think it's LB and right trigger LB. Missing with the uppercut. Big swing and a miss. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you've got to think them. You've just got to be smarter than them. You've got to be like a little fag with a pickpocket them. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Jab to the body, trying to wear him down. Missing with the uppercut. Ooh, that punch hurt him. A very competitive round with ten seconds left. Could not be any closer, could it, Johnny? That was an incredible round. I dread being a judge. 
So AI I see now is like souped up, right? 88% damage, 94% stamina. Joe did not get tired at all. Or maybe it could be all the body shots I've been taking. But we whooped him that round. Like, I was blasting Joe that round. Who's going to be the first one to get rocked? famous boxing movies the training scenes the gym work that's what it all boils down to who's gonna have more endurance now this is about desire this is about character this is about want how did he absorb that hook Defending themselves. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Back and forth they go, neither fighter willing to back down. Fails to score with that left hook. Hey, those punches add up. Thanks. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Okay, there was another great comeback there. So, 61 damage I'm sitting at, 70 stamina. But I still think that's two rounds in a row we've won. So, you learn, it'll show you, I think it'll show us the next round. Because it showed us on the third, it's probably going to show us on the sixth, ninth, twelfth, of course, when it's over. But I definitely get it better. You know, it's tough getting back into the boxing game. It's been a long time since I've played one. And I was not protecting my body. But doing pretty good damage wise. Let's do this. And He's going to be the first one to get clipped. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That could be the real difference. You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain. Man. He threw the hook, didn't land. He gets out of the way of that left hand. Perfect dance partner. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fire, we fight. You either give it them back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play fair, play free. Swing and a miss. And that hook misses. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. This fight is.
is closer than two pages and a book, Johnny. It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? I don't like the difficulty that we have it on right now because you all can see. So 54% 66. Like, I got hit that round, but not enough to take me down that much, right? And they're sitting 82-92. That's insane. So I guess this difficulty is not should not have been what I chose. But also, I'm trying to utilize the reach of Muhammad Ali. I need to use the reach a little bit better. And let's win this fight. We got this. 56-57. That's three wins in a row. Fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. Get him with a left jab. Going to keep his elbows tucked into the chest so he can avoid the pain of those body shots, but that leaves more opportunities for head shots. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? That uppercut just missed. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. When you have a fighter that's got that great footwork and that great hand speed, it's so hard. It's an uphill battle. That hook won't score. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. This one could go either way. Every round is so important. That was super tight. I dread being a judge. What a fight. We are battling right now. We're playing smart. I'm still taking a few more shots than I need to. But it's what I'm impressed with with the AI. Have you noticed that he seems to be doing a good job picking up on my tendencies so far? What a battle. All right. Come on. We got this. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to go down? Good punch. And there he caught him with a stiff jab. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down. So demoralized it will absolutely break your heart. What else can you do? Can they figure out the combination to this sink? He misses with that jam.
a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which... Who's winning this fight right now? I have no idea. So important. The referee's got to do his fight right. He's got to judge this right. He's got to do his job right. This is really awesome. Like, mechanically, it's... It, don't, don't get me wrong. It's tough. The controls are tough, but it, it's pretty awesome. Wow, what a fight. I... We have 46 to their 77. I, I use stamina probably way too aggressively, and you can tell that. But... Again, we just started. <laughs> Here we go. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to go down? trouble but surely he'll find a way out do you believe this the greatest is down on the canvas i don't under that's t that's so tough that's frustrating at some point, the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down. Hey, those punches add up. Talk about a fighter having power. Don't just look at the head punches that go. Look at the body shots. That can be the real difference. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab. It can be intimidating. Just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. That's another scoring shot. The round winding down now, and it's been another good one for him. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as a fighter. And yeah, we lost that round. Um, we're going to see the point spread after this. I don't know if we can last another knockdown it's hard you have to hold left trigger and right trigger down and get it in that red zone to fill up the meter stand up we got up at nine i think both times well such a good fight though such a good fight this ai difficulty is way too high though for a, a new player like me what was i thinking on that one it's round 10 85 84 we're down Takes that jab. And he lands a big right hand. And you're not going to cover up? How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around that. Work the body, use tactics sometimes to sort of watch you out, box the fight and beat them on points. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Caught him with a heavy punch. Swing and a miss. Is this the 
the beginning of the end for Muhammad Ali. Seems like he's beginning to recover a little bit. And it appears the onslaught is over, at least for now. This fighter is certainly not going to outthrow their opponent. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. like a feel-out round. What do you think, Johnny? I know those rounds. And you know what? We'll get excited. We want it straight away. But these fighters know what plan they've got to work to. Okay. Solid round. I think we won it. But the problem is the amount of damage we've suffered. One more big shot. We're out. But if we can somehow land more jabs. Land more jabs. Use our reach advantage. Joe's leaving the jab wide open. If we can leave the, lead with jabs. Hit some straights. No hooks, nothing fancy. We can win this fight by decision. There's the bell to start round 11. Big swing and a miss. Just missing with the uppercut. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through willpower? calm because if you panic you get desperate if you get desperate you make mistakes if you make mistakes you get knocked out nice exchanges from both men in this round good looking jab He just missed with that left jab. Good power punch. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. I don't know which fighter is winning this bout. It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? It's our fight. We won two rounds in a row. We win round number 12 by keeping our range, hitting the jab. Joe's taking some damage. He can't handle the jab right now. He can't handle the reach. If he gets in, he's going to take us out. We, Our body has been destroyed. We have to stay focused. We have to battle. We're going to go out there and win this fight in a decision. Come on. This is going to be the first one to get caught. He knows that right hand's coming and still can't do anything about it. They both want the knockout. Nice power punch. He gets me with one shot, I'm done. This fighter's sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. What you've got to do, Tony, is anticipation. You've got to wait, you've got to, you just got to throw caution to the wind and just hope. You're never gonna know where the shots are coming from. You just got to put in a guess. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Power 
Punch scores. Good power punch. showing exceptional chins, by the way. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. The three judges agree, and we've got a unanimous decision. Yes. What a right one. You know, that skills. That, Come that, on, that's baby. One is up there, one is down there. But you know what? The loser is going to have to learn, learn a big, big hard lesson. I totally agree. That was an epic fight. All right, let's see the judges. Muhammad, so let's see. I won. I lost the first three, right? Got in the zone, won the next five. Lost the next round when I got knocked down and then came out winning the rest of three. All the judges agreed on the last round, the last three rounds. We came out, we used our reach. Look at that stretch though. After we got whooped the first round and second round, we came back fighting. 114 to 12, 114, 115 to 111, 115, 111. What a battle. Muhammad Ali, unanimous decision, takes the win over Joe Frazier. To take their career record to three and one against each other. Wow, what a fight. So let's see the total. So I landed, I shot, I threw 825 punches to their 669. I hit 470, 57%. They hit 309. I was 63% on jabs. They just left the jabs open. They only threw 84. I threw 510 jabs. They threw mostly hooks, uppercuts. And the power pot. Pa they threw a lot of power punches. So did I. 323. I don't throw. I, I didn't throw a lot of uppercuts. Not quite sure the button on that one. I think it's A and X at the same time or down on the analog stick. I got to learn that. But straights, 80 out of 167. What a fight. That was awesome. We can see headshots that we've landed as well. Headshots that we landed and body shots. Had, they landed 186 body shots, two knockdowns. I almost lost because I just couldn't get up, but that, that's a really tough mini game to actually stand up. 35 counters, they had 51. They had 64 blocks, I had 145. Yeah, Joe was just leaving his head open for those jabs. We couldn't get the knockout. I think that difficulty setting is not fun for knockouts. I think it only let basically lets the computer have the chance to knock out. Is there Joe's damage was barely going down. Joe got hit by how many power punches? 195 from Muhammad Ali. And you're telling me that we didn't knock him down once? <laughs> okay. But you can look at each round individually as well. This is awesome. That was an awesome game. That was an awesome game. I get the win. My first match against Joe Fazer. We get the dub in a round 12 all the way down to the wire in the decision. But that was just epic. That was just epic. But wow, hope you all enjoyed that. If you got some enjoyment, drop a like, subscribe for more, and you will see more content from this game coming out on the channel, but also a lot of other games. And stay tuned to the Gamer Ability YouTube channel for all things gaming. I appreciate each and every one of you all. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.